Hey family, welcome back to the channel. It's Ebony dropping by with another quick word. Uh, welcome back. Also, if this happens to be your first time here, please don't hesitate to hit that like, share, and subscribe button. Today, the Lord wants you to be yourself. And what I mean by be yourself is stop dimming your light to make others comfortable. Stop wearing a mask in certain situations. You know how uh, you may be in a certain environment and you feel like you have to portray yourself to be this certain type of individual or there be have this certain personality, um, act a certain way. For example, Let's just say you're having a horrible day, but you're around a certain individual and you always put on a smile, even though you were just as sad as can be. Or let's say that a certain group of individuals, they have more of a, uh, what can I say, more of a high-end taste uh, in things or, you know, you feel that they may be above you in a certain way. So you feel like in order to fit in with them, you have to put on your best outfit. You have to pull out your jewelry. You know, you have to do certain things to fit in with certain individuals. The devil is a liar. The Lord said, be yourself. He created you perfectly the way that he created you. He created you the way he created you for a purpose, for a reason. And part of that is a gift of being the chosen one. So, once again, never dim your light to make another person feel comfortable. You know, a lot of times as a chosen one, you may carry yourself a certain way or you may have a certain uh, uh, view or perception over things. And... Um, the next person may not have a clue what you're talking about. They see things totally opposite from you. And for some odd reason, you may feel like you have to come down to their level or you have to silence yourself. The devil is a liar. Yeah, he wants you to think that for a reason. You know, he wants you to think that so he can silence you. So that way... You know, the truth and the knowledge and the wisdom that God has instilled in you does not come out uh, and rest upon the ears and the hearts of others because he knows that once that happens, change is going to come. Change is going to come in, in the lives of others and he won't have a hold on them anymore. Um, you know, the Lord created you to be a leader. Stop trying to stand out. Stop trying to blend in when you were born to stand out. God created you to stand out for a reason. You are unique. You are one of a kind. Nobody can be you and you can't be anybody else. The God, God created and designed you perfectly the way that you are. So stop trying to change that. Own who you are. And always remember, God created you in his perfect image. And if you don't know what that looks like, then you need to draw closer to the Lord. You need to get in the word and you need to you need to ask him to reveal that to you. And he will. So that's all for now. Um, I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. I pray that this word blesses and encourages someone. Whoever needs to hear it, I know this will reach. This message will reach you. Um, I have faith in that. But once again, I love you all. God loves you all. God bless you all. Talk to you soon.